All right, now, if you're as excited about variable fonts as I am, then you should know that there's a kind of gotcha associated with many of them. All of the fonts that have the word concept in their names are missing some very common punctuation marks and symbols. For example, there is no double quotation mark. It just doesn't exist. And so to make myself clear, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the type tool which of course you can get by pressing the T key. And then I'll just go ahead and enter the word concept in the font field. And you can see we've got acumen variable concept, we've got minion farther down the list, and then we have myriad. And then at the very bottom, by the way, we've got Trajan color concept, which you might find to be interesting. This is not new to Photoshop CC 2018, and it has nothing to do with variable fonts, but it is pretty darn cool, and you can see that we have all these different colors to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and hide the glyphs panel for the moment, and I'm going to undo that change. This does not necessarily include all the variable fonts, however. If I were to delete everything but the word variable, you can see way down at the bottom of the list, we have a bunch of source fonts. Those fonts have everything. They've got your standard character set. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to go ahead and click after the word enjoy, and then I will enter the and show, like so. And notice that we immediately, at the quotation mark, have a problem. The first quotation mark isn't even curly. The last one is. But you can see that it's a totally different font. So we shifted from Minion to, all of a sudden, the default font, which is Myriad Pro which obviously is not what we want. And so if I were to go to the window menu and choose the glyphs command in order to bring back the glyphs panel and then click in the word the, for example, you can see that we've got all kinds of wacky characters, including ordinal versions of the entire alphabet, which are essentially superscripted letters. But we just don't have a double quote. It's nowhere to be seen. We've got an apostrophe, and we've got a comma, and so forth, but we're missing an awful lot of characters. And just to give you a sense for what those characters look like, I'll turn on this top layer here inside the Layers panel, and this is just an example of the many characters that are missing. We're missing the double quotes, we're missing the parentheses, square brackets and braces are missing, the at symbol, the hashtag, the asterisk, any form of slash, so you can't create a fraction, the upside down question and exclamation mark. We're missing the common bullet as well as the copyright symbol and so forth. So it's kind of a big deal. And so what do you do if you want to work with one of these concept fonts? Well, this is one workaround anyway. I'll just go ahead and replace the letter E right there. And then I'll enter the word show followed by a period. So I'll just avoid that quotation mark for now. So in other words, enter all the text you know is going to work first. And then let's say I want to start things off with the parenthesis. Then I'll click in front of the P and enter a parenthesis symbol like so. And now I'll go ahead and select it because it's going to Marriott Pro, which is not what I want. The closest matching font that isn't a concept font is going to be your standard Minion Pro. And I'll go with the regular style right here. That's going to be a close enough match. And then I'll copy it by pressing Command-C or Control-C on the PC. And now I'll click before the word show, and I'll press Command-V or Control-V on the PC. And I'll select that character, and I'll change it to an opening double quote. Uh, it looks like the characters are current too far apart. So I'll press Command Option left arrow. That would be Control Alt left arrow on the PC in order to turn these characters way closer together. And then I'll click after the period and press Command V in order to paste once again. And I'll select that character and switch it out with double quote followed by close parentheses like so. And then I'll press the Escape key in order to accept my changes. And that is at least one way to get around the missing characters associated with concept fonts. So specifically the fonts that have the word concept in their names, many of which are variable fonts, whether you're working inside Photoshop or for that matter, Illustrator.